guys welcome back to my channel today i have a story time for you so this story time is going to be about the time i bit into a bolt at disney yeah <laughs> um two things before the video gets started this is my little disclaimer um i am not slandering disney i'm not coming for them i'm just here to share the story i don't really think that this situation is still active it's all been taken care of and there is absolutely no sled going on in this video um my second thing is is that the lighting is probably gonna shift a little bit um where i live the sun goes down at like four or five it just depends on the day um so if it gets slightly darker or you notice a light shift or lighting change that is why i am sorry it's so dumb i know but unfortunately that's what happens in the winter time but anyways let's get on with this story time about the time i bit into a bolt at disney so before i start the actual story i need to give you guys a little bit of background so i was in disney in march of 2019 yeah and um i was there in like early march um which happened to actually be spring break time because it was early this year i was staying at the grand floridian in the villas um and i was there with my immediate family and then one of my other family members i am not going to say their name but i was there with another family member and this wasn't the best trip to Disney I've ever had. Let me just put that out there right now. But I had actually had some tension with this unnamed family member. And I decided that the day we went to Epcot, I was going to go on my own and do my own thing. I, I was 18 at the time, so it was okay for me to go and do my own thing. So I went and did my own thing. So... That's what you really need to know to going into this story. Basically, it's set in Epcot. It's like March 15th or something like that. And about halfway through the vacation, we're in Epcot and I actually just finished going around the world at Epcot and I was in the um, Soren Pavilion. I think it's like the Living with the Land Pavilion, something like that, I don't know. But anyways, that's where the story begins in Epcot at the Soren Pavilion. So, at this pavilion, there is the ride Soren, there is Living with the Land, and there's, um, I think there's a movie there too, and there's also a, like a restaurant, and then there's a quick service. And for those of you who have never been to Disney, a quick service is basically like fast food, kind of. It's like ready to go, it's already there, it's made, and you can just grab it pay for it with your credits or money and go so i was at the i think it's called is it seasons somewhere it's not the restaurant it's the quick service and i was hungry it was like two o'clock and i didn't eat lunch because i was around the world i had some snacks but it was time for me to eat lunch and i didn't like anything they had um so i kept on looking around and then i got to the desserts and i was like dessert sounds good and of course when you're in disney if you want to eat a dessert go ahead like that could be your meal so i went over to the dessert um like counter and i was waiting in line and i was looking at everything they had they had cupcakes and pies and whoopie pies and just a lot of desserts in general sorry i keep yawning i'm not tired i don't know what's going on but they had a lot of desserts and the desserts were really really good and i was actually gonna go for a cupcake but the lancaster county girl and me decided to go for a whoopie pie now i just want to clarify disney whoopie pies and lancaster county whoopie pies are completely different things two completely different things a disney whoopie pie is very thick and there's a lot of cream in there and it's obviously like has a Disney touch but the Lancaster County Whoopie Pie is often thin less cream good they come in a bunch of different flavors the Disney one was red velvet and Lancaster County ones you can get 
anything, literally from like chocolate to mint chocolate to red velvet to butterscotch probably, I don't know. But I will put a picture of the Disney Whoopie Pie here that I actually took before I eat it because I take pictures of everything before I eat them at Disney, but here it is. And so I ended up getting this Whoopie Pie and I went to the cashier and I paid for it with my snack credit and I went and I found a table and I sat down. And the way this layout is, is the center of the building is like the food court where you can sit. And then the like restaurant is all on this side, quick service is over here, Soren's here, the movie's right here, and then Living with the Land's down here. It's like a couple, I think it's what, two stories? Yeah, two stories. And I was sitting and I was eating and I was actually really enjoying it. It was um, red velvet and then it had like the cream and then it had um, chocolate chips around it and then like a little Mickey chocolate thing on top and the whoopie pie was so good and I really enjoyed it although it wasn't really a whoopie pie but I am around like three-fourths of the way done and I picked it up and I bit into it it's kind of like a burger pickup bite and I hear a crunch noise and I'm like okay like that's kind of weird I'm like why would it be crunchy and then my tooth started to hurt and I was like okay something's not right and like I had the cake still in my mouth I hadn't chewed it or digested it yet it didn't go anywhere it was just sitting in my mouth and I grabbed a napkin and I did one of these and it all comes out and on the napkin there is something shiny mm -hmm. And of course you guys can guess what this is because I've already said what it was, but it was a bolt and there was this shiny silver thing in the middle of my red velvet cupcake. And instantly I'm like, oh my god, like what just happened? And I'm staying calm because there are families around me, like every table is kids and parents and I wasn't about to start freaking everyone out. I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm so tired, but I'm not tired. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I didn't want to freak anyone out. So I very quietly and like normally went over to the like condiments table area because there were workers there like cleaning up. And I went over to this worker and I was like, hey, like I just bit into a bowl and here's the plate and here's like the bowl. And she was like, oh my god like are you okay like or, i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah i'm fine i'm fine just like can we like get this sorted out because yeah that's an issue and so i pick up my stuff and they were like follow me follow me i'm like okay i'm walking with them and we go back into like the quick service area and instantly the head chef is called and the head chef comes over and he was like hello like my name's blank uh, what what's the problem like what happened and I was like oh like I just bit into a bolt like it was just in my um, Wee pie and he was like can you tell me the exact what I was like yes It's the red velvet with the white icing and the chocolate chips and then the Mickey He's like can we give me a second? I'm like yeah, so he instantly goes over he pulls all of them every single one of them and they're Like not allowed to be sold obviously, but he pulls all of them He takes them to the back and he sets them down and then he comes back to me and he's like, can I have the this um, whoopie pie and the bolt? And I was like, yeah, the employee has it. And the employee gives it to her, the chef. And then they take me back to the register and they refund me my snack credit. And I was like, okay, like, that's like, it's all good. My tooth is fine. I'm not bleeding. I'm not, the bolt looked brand new. And then the head chef calls me back over and was like hey i just want to let you know that not all disney baked products are in-house sometimes we get them from our larger baking areas such as main street which has a way bigger baking ability i guess um or like stuff to bake i should say he said i don't know where this came from specifically i don't know where the bolt came from specifically but we we're gonna pull everything and we're going to figure this out for you. 
I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't know why I keep on it. But he was telling me how, he told me he was sorry a million times. And he told me he doesn't know how this happened and it doesn't look like a used bolt and they, um, you know, they're gonna figure it out. He was trying to explain where it came from. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, like, you know, it's fine. And so about 10 minutes of talking to the chef, I actually get called back over to the register and the register is like surrounded yeah that sort surrounded by like a couple people and I ended up walking over there and they're like hey we're gonna call the guest relations manager of Epcot and I was like the manager like I get to talk to the I get to talk to the guest relations manager of Epcot and I didn't say that but I was thinking that because I'm a huge Disney fan and it's pretty cool to meet a manager, which most of you probably think that's lame, but yeah. But anyways, so they called her and she comes over in about 10 minutes, I believe it was. And obviously she first talks to me and she's like, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry this happened, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And she's like, okay, I really need you to sign some papers and like, we can get this all sorted out. I'm like, okay and then she asked me for my driver's license and i was like all right let me i was like can i i'm 18 but i really want to call my mom so we can sorry there's a car driving by i'm 18 but i really want to call my mom and i really want to have her here for it and she's like oh no biggie and i'm like i don't know exactly where they are so i don't know how long it's gonna take she was like okay no problem so i go and i call my mom and she declines and then I call again. She declines. And then I call for the third time and she was like, what do you want? And I'm like, I was like, um, I just bit into a bolt. And she was like, what, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm at, and then I named the place. I think it was Seasons and, or Summers. I don't know, I think it's Seasons. And she was like, okay, well, I'm at Beach Club. And I'm like, okay <laughs> she's like i have to take a boat back and then i have to go through the international gateway and i have to come back i'm like okay okay i'll let them know like it's fine so my mom is actually at a resort at eating dinner or lunch there and so she's about a 15 minute boat ride and a like 10 minute walk i believe so the boat only runs every uh, 10 15 minutes something like that so she ended up having to wait for a boat but my whole family plus my um unnamed family member was coming and it actually took him around 30 to 40 minutes to get to the place i was at and this whole time i was actually talking to the manager and me being the disney i am i asked her like what disney secrets can you share with me and she's like oh well, we don't have any and i was like but she did talk to me and she said that cast members have really cool tours and blah 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 and she actually gave me her business card and was like hey if you ever become a cast member like let me know and i'll help you out and like that kind of stuff i was like okay that's really really cool and yeah so that was pretty much it for the cast member or the manager talk and Finally, after like 40 minutes, I see my unnamed family member like running down the ramp and I see my sister running down the ramp and my parents are following and my unnamed family member gets there first and she's like freaking out for me. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, are you okay? Like this was, she was just generally concerned. And then my sister comes, she's like, oh, I see, are you okay? She gave me a hug and I was like, yeah guys, I'm fine. Like, it's okay. And then my mom and my dad come down the escalator and then they're finally at this the like register area where this is all going down sorry if i like shifted wherever i was in the frame i went and got water to like stop the yawning don't know if it's gonna help if you know why i'm yawning so much can you like put it in the comments because it's starting to be really annoying and i'm sure you guys don't want to keep watching that but anyways let me get back into the story so my mom comes to the register along with my dad and they started talking and they wanted me to fill out like a little paper just to say like who I was, what happened, and so they have a record of it. 
and so my mom was there we were talking about it we were asking like okay why do you need this for this and like trying to figure it all out so i ended up filling out the report i had my driver's license on there my name i don't remember what else my length of stay maybe and then it was all said and done and we had all figured it out and they actually advised for me to get a tetanus shot which um spoiler alert i never did but anyways they were like what can i comp you with and i was like oh i don't know like because i didn't want to ask for like i want a free five day stay you know like i wasn't that gonna be that person i was actually glad it happened to me and not a child but i was like oh i don't know and then from talking to me, the manager's like, okay, well, I think I can give you something that I think you're gonna like. And I was like, okay. And she went back and she got a vegan, what was it? Um, coconut pineapple cupcake. And I, it was actually funny because that was one of the ones I was looking at to get. <laughs> But she gave it to me, she's like, I really think you're gonna like this. Um, I'm not vegan and I love this cupcake. And I was like, okay. So I got the cupcake and we went on our merry way. Um, that's really it. There wasn't any like magic given throughout the rest of the trip. What I actually think is gonna happen is next time we go to Disney, um, something, we'll get an upgrade or we'll get something free. I'm not expecting it at all, but that's what typically happens because they they chart your case and then they typically give it to you next time but yeah that was the story of the time i've been into a pool at disney um yeah and i definitely didn't slander disney in this video at all and this is the video is not to slander disney i love disney but yeah i bit into a bowl at disney and i got a cupcake from it so that's fun um yeah, so I'm gonna be making more story time content for you guys. Seriously, why are there so many cars driving past my house right now? But anyways, I'm gonna make more story time content for you guys. Comment below if you want like back to back to back story times or if you want like a story time and then another video and then another story time. So I have so many story times for you guys. Um, if you like story times, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'm trying to post on Wednesdays and that is it i believe if i left anything out i will put it now but thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video slash next story time bye